Hello, thank you for watching. Today I'll be talking about the Swatch Group and some of the brands that fall under that umbrella. Now, Swatch Group has to be the largest by far just because they have watches that range from under $1,000 to well above $20,000. They essentially cover any range you could ever think of. So Swatch Group, just like the name implies, they're known for the Swatch watches, which helped revitalize the watch industry back in the 80s. They recently came out with the Swatch System 51 line of watches, which made history because it's the first line of watches entirely made by machines with only 51 parts. A lot of good stuff there, proof that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a good watch. Also, in this group, you have Blancpain, famous for the 50 Fathoms watch, which some people say was the first dive watch. Sorry, Rolex, they got there a little bit sooner. You also have Omega. Yes, the James Bond Spectre watch, the Seamaster. You also have the Speedmaster there as the first watch qualified for manned space missions by NASA. Going back with a little bit older brand, you got Longines, which used to be at the top tier, but kind of faded into obscurity, kind of making a strong comeback now. Hamilton, formerly an American brand that turned Swiss, known for their military field watches. Can't forget Rado on the comeback. They actually had a good hit in 2017 with the Captain Cook watches. That was just a quick summary of the watch brands that fall under Swatch Group. Please see the description for a list of full brands. And thank you for watching.